Hello, sixth graders. So, if we were in school right now, we would be doing our argument writing unit. And that would be writing a five paragraph essay about a topic that you would argue. Well, obviously, we are not in school. So, Mr. Marshauser and I are going to work together and we are going to do a simplified argument writing unit. We are going to be tying it in with the environmental things that you have been learning about in science. So this may sound like super overwhelming and a lot to do right now, but I promise you, if you do what we ask you to do every single day and work with us and try your best, you are going to have absolutely no problem completing this. So we're going to start by just kind of doing an overview today of what we are going to be doing. Okay, sixth grader, so argument writing. The purpose of argument writing is to change a person's point of view on a particular topic. Argument writing helps us clarify our thoughts in a respectful and critical manner. Any argument is considered valid if you have evidence and reasoning to back up your claim. So this is what we will be doing. Here is our goal of what we'll be working on the next couple weeks within language arts and science. So this will mainly be the only thing that we're going to be doing the next couple weeks. So our goal, write an argument piece of writing on an environmental topic you learned about in science. You will come up with a claim, find evidence, and reasoning. Now, if you notice, sixth graders, it does not say a five-paragraph essay. We are not going to write a five-paragraph essay unless you want to. We are just trying to do the basics here by coming up with a claim, finding some evidence, and some reasoning. It will totally be manageable. You'll all be able to do it because we're going to be here to help you. To begin, we are going to be using this sheet for our project. And we have used this throughout the year, so it should look a little familiar. And today in this video, I'm going to go over what a claim, reason, and evidence is. So the next few clips here, I'm going to be breaking them down as to what a claim, reason, and evidence is for your argument writing. First, you begin by coming up with a claim. A claim is a simple statement that answers a question. Your claim should only be one sentence. You will use keywords and ideas provided in the question. Avoid using phrases such as I think or I believe. Basically, your claim is your stance on the topic. So if you think that something needs to be done to stop glaciers from melting, that is your claim. Your claim should be that people need to be aware of the negative effects of glaciers melting. And I just came up with that right now, but your claim is your opinion on the topic. What stance are you taking with your argument writing? Next, you have evidence. Evidence is the scientific data or observations that support the claim. So when we're talking about evidence, sixth graders, you are going to use data from graphs or data tables. Um, basically, this should be the easiest part of our writing because we're looking for that scientific evidence, that data to help support your claim. Now, because we're tying this in with science and the environmental topics, there should be a ton of data of things that are happening in the environment, whatever topic you pick. So. The evidence is just scientific data. It helps support your claim. And finally, we have your reasoning. Reasoning explains why the evidence supports the claim by providing logical conclusions. Basically, you just include the scientific ideas related to the claim and evidence. Now, at the bottom of here, I put two yellow circles and two red arrows that I think are excellent sentence starters that you can use in your writing. So they say that the evidence shows that and whatever your topic is. That's reasoning, sixth graders. This is significant because that's reasoning. 
all of your reasoning will come after your evidence or before, however you want to like format your paragraph. And we'll get more in depth with that. But once you find your evidence, your reasoning is just connecting it to your claim. Why is it important? Just a reminder, this is our goal. Write an argument piece of writing on an environmental topic you learned about in science. You will come up with a claim, find evidence, and reasoning. So, you're going to pick a topic, 6th graders. You're going to take a side of it. You're going to find some evidence to support it. Connect it with your reasoning, meaning how the evidence and claim fit together. And we're going to write it. You can do this. We are here for you. We are starting this tomorrow, Tuesday. So, you'll pick your topic and we'll get going tomorrow. So, if you have any questions, please let us know. You're all going to be able to do this. You got this.